Okay, so before we get into the unboxing, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored. I did go out and purchase this drone with my own money. It is something that I've wanted for some time. Um, and I did realize there are two versions of this drone when you go to purchase. Uh, the first one is what I currently have, which is just the drone and the controller. The second option is the Fly More Combo, and that one is going to give you a couple of more accessories, plus it offers you extra batteries, prop guards, a case, and a charger that charges up to three batteries plus a USB input. I will be putting a link in the description down below for both of those options. Now, without further ado, let's check out what's in the box. Okay guys, so as promised, let's take a look at what I think are the pros for the Mavic Mini. My first point is going to be the size. The Mavic Mini is tiny, and that's great because you can fold it up, put it in your pocket, and take it anywhere you want to go without having to get uh, any extra bags or, or larger storage. My second point is going to be the weight. This drone here weighs 249 grams. I live in Canada and I have done the basic certification and registered both of my other drones which is the Air and the Phantom. This drone being 249 grams, I don't have to register it uh, and the biggest benefit is if I do travel to another country where the rules apply and I would have to register over 250 grams, this avoids me having to do more paperwork or another test or, or having to deal with something else uh, once I go to another country. My third point is the the uh, noise on the propellers. Uh, this drone here is very quiet if I compare it to the next drone up which would probably be the Mavic Air, uh, at least the, the original Mavic Air. That one sounded very high pitched, sounded like a, a swarm of bees were, were flying around you. This one here is a lot better on the ears, it's, it's not as noticeable um, and I mean it's, it's not as intrusive around other people. My next point is the application. DJI has created a new app for the Mini and for the Mavic Air 2, uh, which is the Fly app. Now the Fly app has a bunch of new features and from what I've seen they've been developing and, and implementing new features as time goes on, which is great. Um, the next point I want to make is the manual controls for the white balance, ISO and shutter. Now when the Mini was first released it didn't have those options. Uh, there was a firmware update recently that gave the Mini the ability to control the ISO, the shutter, and the white balance. Uh, this is great for anybody who wants more professional looking video, uh, have more control over what they're doing. Plus if you use ND filters, that's going to help you out a lot. My next point is the battery. The battery on this Mini lasts you for 30 minutes. That's great considering the size and how small the battery is. My next point is going to be the range on the drone. The range on the drone is actually four kilometers. Um, I haven't really taken it out yet or taken it on a test to see how far I could go, uh, but that's what they state. And you also have HD transmission within that four kilometer range back to your phone. Uh, one point, this is, uh, this is a pro, but uh, it, it's common on other drones, is the return to home. The return to home is great because if your battery becomes low or if you lose signal, uh, as a safety precaution, the drone will automatically come back to its point of where it left and land itself. 
Okay, we know the drone has a lot of pros, but what are the cons? Well, my first con for this drone is the lack of sensors. This drone here in particular only has one sensor located on the bottom, and that's to help the drone automatically land. Why is that a con for me? Well, the sensors on the drone are usually meant for the drone to avoid obstacles and any kind of collision. So for somebody who might be interested in a low budgeted drone um, or most beginners that would be picking up a drone for the first time, uh, the sensors would be important at least to give them a sense of security as they fly. The second con that I have is the lack of active track. Now active track is a feature um, on the drone that allows the drone to pick an object or a person um, and while they do their activity, it's going to automatically follow that person without hitting any obstacles or any, having any collisions. Now, I have a feeling this drone does not have the active track because it has the lack of sensors. Um, and that may just be due to the fact that the company may want to keep the weight of the drone below 249 grams. So that's one feature, again, that I know some people really do like uh, in this drone. It obviously doesn't have it. My next con is going to be no 4K video. For me, I'm okay with shooting at the 2.7K. I think the video still comes out fantastic. Um, but for some people, it may be a deal breaker. And the last con that I have is the connection. So the connection between the controller and the drone is a Wi-Fi connection. Um, if you live in a more dense city or populated area, you may notice that the connection may not be as strong or you may have spotty connection throughout. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope it was informative and I hope you guys learned something from it. As always, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like down below. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell so you guys are alerted of upcoming videos. If you have any comments, questions, or any ideas for upcoming videos, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.